right, this is a uh, piece called The Twelve Jews. The Twelve Jews are based on this concept uh, of the nations of gods on earth who were started by Clarence X-13 back in the 60s. Now, the reason why um, I'm inspired to paint The Twelve Jews is because I had, uh, probably about maybe 20 years ago after high school, I became very, very influenced by hip-hop music. So I would gravitated more towards the northern um, rap, such as Wu-Tang and Nas, more so than the southern rap, even though I can appreciate some Trick Daddy here and there, and some JT Money. <laughs> but um, eventually, what I thought, what I was listening to in the Wu-Tangs, which I thought was a northern way of speaking, it turns out that this was part of a culture that started way back in the 60s, um, along the same time the Black Panthers and the Civil Rights Movement. So now, I admit I am not a member of the Nations of Gods on Earth, or nor do I want to be a part of it. I'm just like strictly against anything that has anything that's religious. Even though they say it's a culture, that's fine. So, um, but it has deeply influenced my artwork. And um, every time I create a painting that has to do with the nation of God on earth, to me, I feel it's like the best piece that I ever create. Happens within every six or seven years where you get to see a masterpiece. And this is definitely, to me, personally, as a masterpiece. So, dealing with the 12 Jews, you got knowledge, wisdom, understanding, freedom, justice, equality, uh, love, peace, and happiness, food, clothes, and shelter. So in each one of these squares here, you can see this one, 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 this one. Yeah. Okay. So there's 12 squares, and each one of them represents a different jewel. The first one is knowledge. Knowledge means to know the ledge. So you have this guy here standing on an edge, reaching for the fruits of knowledge. And if he goes too far, you might fall over the edge. That's where the term knowledge, know the ledge. Wisdom. Wisdom is wise word being spoken. Wisdom is also the woman. Wisdom is also water. So uh, you have knowledge, then you have wisdom that is coming forth from knowledge and wise words being spoken. So then now you have knowledge, wisdom, understanding, man, woman. So then the last is you have the child or the children. So this is a, reset, a representation of a cycle and all these children that are going to be rising from knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Now the next one you have is freedom. Freedom after obtaining knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, you have freedom. Um, and freedom to me is self-explanatory. It's almost as if you do have man, woman, and child, or knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. But in order for you to master your own life, you have to be able to escape all that still be a part of it but somehow separate and continue justice just i see equality one's reward or penalty based upon his or her choices upon receiving knowledge on a particular side for a person place or things those who can't deal with mathematics will be just ice meaning freeze at 32 degrees so this is the scale of my uh, the balance between your heart and a feather if your heart is i guess heavier than a feather then you fail <laughs> Or, and then in Supreme Mathematics, it's just ice. You freeze at 32 degrees. Um, okay, so justice, equality. Equality means to be equal in everything, which is knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, uh, which is one plus two plus three equals six. Food. <laughs> food, I guess, is the nourishment that's necessary for you to survive. Um, but I have food as a fork, uh, a spoon, and a knife. To me, it's almost, I remember uh, explaining this a while back and it made more sense. I guess the spoon represents like a silver spoon. I guess the fork represents a challenge and aggression where you have to actually stick a fork in it. And I guess the knife represents the division um, that we go through in our society. So that's food. Shelter is to me just beautiful. Uh, no, no, this is clothes. So clothing to me represents the grommets, which is traditional in my artwork. But you have these two balls hanging here, and it seems like it's a woman's garment that's just being closed. 
um, or being worn. Shelter is a diagram which I received from you, right? Yep. Yeah. So I received a diagram from you as an architectural diagram, and you can see in the background. But this woman is walking towards her house, which is shelter. Um, the same architectural um, diagram is used here um, for these hands. So now we got shelter, love. The definition of love is perfection, not as before wisdom. Hell is imperfection, wisdom before knowledge. If you love your nation, you go through hell to make it right. So what's happening here is the next, uh, uh, I guess the next word, but that next word is put, uh, sending this hand through hell. So you got love, hell, and right. Love is perfection, knowledge is before wisdom, and which is knowledge is man, uh, wisdom is woman. So, so that's knowledge before wisdom. Hell is imperfection, which is a reciprocal, wisdom before knowledge. And then if you love your nation, uh, which, you know, the, the ring could represent love and marriage, um, but you go through hell to make it right which is in the right hand. You get me? Yeah, I get you. <laughs> All right. So now, peace. P-E-A-C-E. -E. Um, there's a lot of acronyms that they use in Supreme Mathematics or hip-hop culture for peace, but one that I chose was protrons, electrons always cause explosion. There's another one that says that positive energy always correct error, and so on and so on. So that's peace. Then happiness. Now, to me, this represents more of the lack of happiness. It has to do with the race. And you have a mouse or a rat inside of a cage, and it's turning around and going around in circle and circle. And you ask yourself, how can you be happy going around in circle, having no destination and getting nowhere? So it's similar to having a job. Like, uh, the, that's the um, same. I mean, that's why um, I use a computer keys to end the background of the city and the clock to show somebody who's trapped in a building, pretty much in a rat race, going around in circles and circles and not getting anywhere. But we call that happiness. Love it, Overstreet. <laughs>